Woo! It's chilly. This treehouse in the middle of the Colorado wilderness might just be the most expensive treehouse ever built. The build costs $1.5 million and we are the first people to ever stay here. So we're gonna be giving you a full tour of this incredible place. Plus we'll show you what it's like to live here for a couple days, but it's not just gonna be us having all the fun. Are you the winner? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. If you've been following along with our loosely planned out 3,000 mile road trip that will take us all the way from Texas to the tip of the Baja Peninsula, then you know that we spent the last month living out of this van as we've explored some of the best ski resorts across Colorado and New Mexico. Woo! Don't get me wrong, the last month has been absolutely incredible and full of moments that we will remember for the rest of our lives. Ooh, that's a snowball. I didn't like that. But anytime you spend four weeks living out of your vehicle full time, you're bound to face a unique set of challenges. The bottom of the pee funnel froze. I felt it running down <laughs> my leg. So when someone invites you to their brand new $1.5 million treehouse, you don't turn them down. Even if it means backtracking four hours across the state of Colorado. Denver, here we come in a snowstorm. Most of Eastern Colorado under either winter weather advisory or winter storm warning. It's snowing more every second. All right. Oh, uh, how much of a bummer would it be if we didn't make it to the treehouse? That's not an option. The road is getting very white. We're still 34 minutes away. As we know from previous experience last year, a lot can change in 30 minutes. You're telling me. Doesn't look like it in the camera, but it is steep. This is where things could become very interesting. Oh, man, we're going oh, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. And we're already stuck. What do we do? Let's see if we can back down. Crap. Uh oh. Thank you, pull me out. Awesome, thank, thank you so you. much. Wow. <laughs> Our first time. So I knew fun. the van was going to do it. Let's see what's going on out here. Oh, bummer. Yeah, it's, it's really in there. That's where things went wrong. It's honestly not a big deal. The van should be totally fine. I'm just a little embarrassed. That was a lot. I think we're stuck. We feel very sideways. We are. There's our new best friend. It's our first time using one of these. Just to get through that. Yes. Put it in reverse. Yep. Don't spin the tire. Give it a little gas, but don't spin it. Okay. Ready? Ready? Hold on, don't run over my rope. I think it's working. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! Woo! Woohoo! We're on the road! Is there anything else we can do for <laughs> no, you? No, no, no. Not that it was fun. Fuck. I saw it and I'm like, let's go pull him out. Mm. She's like, you just want to play with your winch. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Well, that was an exciting start to the treehouse adventure. <laughs> what a nice guy. Like a sleepy hollow drive. Hey, Peter, this is Nate. Hi, Nate. How are you? Good. We almost made it. We almost made it. <laughs> We're currently driving back towards the main road with our tail between our legs. <laughs> but, this... hey, it makes it for an adventure. That's right. Peter graciously picked us up at the bottom of the mountain, and he was even nice enough to lend us his four-wheel drive car for the rest of our stay. Once we arrived at the treehouse, Peter and his wife, Delinda, gave us a quick introduction to the property <gasps> and told us the backstory on what it took to build this place. It was a dream, you know. The dream started basically when I saw an Airbnb, number one Airbnb in Atlanta, probably five years ago. I saw that and said, I can build a treehouse in Colorado that's better than that. And that's what got the, the dream going. The engineer had to put a lot of cross bracing because this house is sitting so high up. Before they got the cross bracing in, you could kind of feel it wobble a little bit. After a slightly stressful afternoon, we decided to just put on our robes, pour ourselves a glass of wine, turn on YouTube, and enjoy the comforts of our new home that we almost didn't make it to. Good night.
Real quick, we want to say a big thank you to Surfstripe for continuing to support our channel, whether we're living out of this van or a $1.5 million treehouse. We've been using Surfstripe for over two years now, and we'll probably use it forever because, if you don't already know, a VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and somehow it encrypts all the information sent between our computer and the internet so that no one can steal our personal information. So, if you don't already have one, we highly recommend Surfstripe. We think it's the best because it's the only VPN that offers one account to use on unlimited devices. So both of our phones and both of our computers, all one account, all the same price. It's a no-brainer. Bummed about Netflix taking the office away? Problem solved. Not only does Surfshark protect your online identity, you can also use it to unlock content that isn't available in your area. It's super easy to change the virtual location of your computer and get access to a whole new content library. No, 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 no. You can use our code Kara and Nate to get 83% off and three extra months for free. Plus, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk to try it out. Just click the link in the description below to get started. All right, now that I'm caffeinated and we have familiarized ourselves with our new home, let me give you a full tour of this luxurious treehouse. But first, let me just say in the least braggy way possible, we have stayed in so many unique accommodations all around the world. Some of them costing tens of thousands of dollars per night. But I have to say, if I had to choose just one to actually live in, this would be it. Let me show you why. Your eyes look so good. Really? I'm gonna start in the main bedroom and then we'll work our way across the treehouse. First things first, Peter told us last night that this is one of the best mattresses that money can buy. If somebody gets up in the middle of the night and you're over there and he's you over there, you can't, feel, you can't feel them. You can't feel the movement, no movement. which is pretty cool. As opposed to the van where the whole thing <laughs> is <just> moving up. <laughs> and I can confirm that it is fabulous. Right here on the nightstand, I have a remote control that goes to the fireplace. You can turn it on and off right here from bed. You can also set a timer, so if you want to fall asleep to the golden glow of the fire, but not let it run all night, just do that right here. And next to the fireplace, we have these super cute cozy chairs that just feel like a soft teddy bear. This will be a perfect place to have morning coffee next to the warm fire with a beautiful view, but I already have my morning coffee in bed, so. This will be my afternoon coffee spot. The best part of this treehouse, in my opinion, is that the whole front face of it is just a giant window wall, including here in the main bedroom. You also have your own private balcony. If it wasn't full of snow, we would probably enjoy some time out here, but I think for now we'll enjoy the view from the inside. We were told on a clear day, you could see up to 50 miles of the mountains. But instead we have these beautiful snowy views, which I would not change. Over here we have a giant closet where we've stuffed all of our junk. But the most exciting part in here is really soft robes. And I love knowing that no one's worn this before me. I can't wait to put that on. And I'm pretty sure while I was sleeping this morning, Nate showed you this feature. This teeny tiny remote turns all of the curtains down to complete darkness. Then to open them back up, you just sunshine. And moving on to the main bathroom. Oh, I already showed him this. Oh, <laughs> you did a lot while I was asleep. I absolutely love smart toilets. The seat is warm. I almost said heat seater. The seat? seat? Heater? Nope. Heat it seat. <laughs> heat it seat. You can adjust all of the settings and you can even save your preferences. This little button even has a bidet that like moves like this, like up and down. <laughs> it feels super weird. <laughs> but the coolest thing on here that I haven't seen before is obviously the lid opens when you walk in, but if you're a boy and you need the second lid to open, instead of touching it, you just press this button. And it comes up. Love that. And the shower is big and beautiful. I love the natural light that comes in. They have Aveda products. Oh, you may notice that I'm not wearing socks. And that is because all of the floor in this treehouse is heated. You really don't appreciate it until you step on a tile that's like in between heaters. For some reason it doesn't heat right here and it's so cold. It's so cold. So you're like, ah, and then you go right back to the warm and it feels and that brings us into the kitchen. I'm very proud to say that the first thing you see when you walk in the door was inspired by us. Peter saw our video in Whitefish. We stayed in a tree house on the slope and they had this digital welcome screen that had the Wi-Fi password, restaurant recommendations, an entire welcome letter. And he loved it so much that he found it and he got one for his tree house. 
So that's just really fun. The kitchen, as usual, is my favorite room in the entire house, but I feel like I can just appreciate it all on a whole new level since we've been living out of the van for a month. Unlimited hot running water in a giant sink, a dishwasher, and all of the appliances are so beautiful. It's a brand called Cafe, which I've never heard of before, but they all match. They have these bronze details. There is not one, but two different ways to make coffee because Peter has his priorities straight. We have two different ovens, which is two more than we have in the van. Okay, come over here. I'm not gonna move. It doesn't know I'm here yet. Come here, quick. <laughs> we have a drink fridge right here that... <laughs> Hello. What in the world? The light comes on when you walk by. <laughs> First try, so you can see what drinks you want before you open it up. And not only is this refrigerator freezer combo beautiful and giant, but they added a bottle of rose in here for us. Is this not the prettiest bottle you've ever seen? We obviously drank this last night, but also there is a wine cooler in the middle. Peter and Delinda own a couple wine bars in town, so they've stocked it with their favorite wine for us. Great touch. And the floor plan in here is very open, so the kitchen just spills into the dining room, which is set with six different placemats. A nice little thank you note. Plus, we get to be the very first people to sign the guest book which is a lot of pressure. So the center of the treehouse also has its own private balcony. You can literally just walk out there with no clothes on. Like we're so free up here. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> what made you want to walk out there with no clothes on? Because you can. So whenever it doesn't have five inches of snow, there is a fire pit that we can enjoy. And here we have the living room. I think the highlight of this room is the television, which I don't think I've ever said before. We typically don't turn the TV on a single time when we stay in a nice place or any place, but this one is special because it's called a frame TV. When you're not watching it, it displays artwork so you don't just have this big black box on your wall. And there is also a remote controlled fireplace in here too. If you follow me into this hallway, it is lined with really cool artwork done by Delinda and Peter's son. And that brings us into the guest suite. Now it's not exactly cheap to stay here, but the good news is if you came here with another couple, you have two separate wings of the treehouse that are very private. And this side is just as nice as the main bedroom. So by the time you split the price, it's pretty much like paying for a nice hotel, except for this one's way better. So the first thing in the guest suite that you see is your very own drink refrigerator and the holy grail for all van lifers is in this closet. Oh! Washer and dryer. We will definitely put that to use before we leave. They did not scamp at all on the guest bedroom. Once again, we have a purple mattress and you have your remote controls, both for the blinds and the fireplace, except for this fireplace, in my opinion, is even better because you can smell it. It's like this nostalgic smell for me, like when your parents turned on the heater for the first time all winter. Just that like cold, warm smell. I love it. And yeah, you can do it from bed. Of course, you have your own private balcony, beautiful window views. Another great touch is there is a Bluetooth Sono speaker in every room of the entire house. And once again, your own bathroom with And I think that does it for the indoors. Now let's go outside where I'm gonna show you the most exciting, but also the most sad part of this treehouse. It's still snowing. Look at this, it is so fluffy. Okay. Wow, that's satisfying. Oh my gosh. Beneath the treehouse is what they call the relaxation deck which includes a jacuzzi, a barrel sauna, a grill, and a second fire pit. The best part about being the first people to stay here is that no one has used any of this. No one's worn the robes, no one's peed in the hot tub, no one's naked butt has sat in the <laughs> barrel sauna. But also, the worst part about being the first people to stay here is that none of this works yet! <laughs> so, if you come stay at the Zen Tree House, please enjoy this extra for us. Or send us an email. We'll meet you here. We'll stay in the guest bedroom. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. I mean, it could have been my naked butt. 
hopefully by now you see why I would choose this place as my forever home. But I'm curious, out of all the places we've stayed, like the treehouse in Norway, or the treehouse in Whitefish, or the Bolt Farm treehouses, or the New York penthouse, or the Las Vegas penthouse, or the yeah. domes in Jordan, ooh, the floating glass tiny home in the Philippines, uh, or the private island in the Philippines. That's pretty remote though. Let us know in the comments below which one you would choose. So we weren't sure if we were gonna get snowed into this place. So on the way here, we got way too many groceries. <laughs> so we love ramen in this family and I made this new recipe the other night and Nate told me he likes it better than my self-titled Kara's, no, yeah. Kara's, what is it called? Kara's famous one pot peanut butter ramen, which says a lot because our recipes are really good. This ramen recipe is straight out of our great friends, Eamon and Beck's cookbook. So if you wanna know how to make it, you should definitely check it out. They're also going through an extremely difficult time right now. So if you've never supported them before, now is the time. We love you guys. And I love your ramen. Oh man, I hate that I'm the first person to use this cutting board. I am about to change your life. I saw this on TikTok the other day and it actually works. You take a glass jar and whole cloves of garlic. So I've done zero peeling on these. Put them in the jar, put the lid on, and shake it really hard. Oh gosh! <laughs> you was, scared me! I was just gonna say, Oh my gosh, no you scared me so bad! Way. I didn't know you were there! You can be here to prove that I didn't make this up. Ready? It's been edited. No. All of these garlics, the peel just comes right off. Look. Oh, shoot. So now you've seen a video it's about magic. a house and learned a new cooking hack. <laughs> You're welcome. It blows my mind. Oh, gosh. Ow. Edamame is not in this recipe, but I love edamame. I think I'm gonna rename this Kara's Mean Green Ramen Machine because I added lots of green stuff. It's not very soupy anymore either. I don't know what happened. Isn't it pretty? Nice job. <laughs> she always does this. Wow, good work. I'm gonna say 10 of 10. Shut up. It's really good. For real? Yeah. Don't get me, don't get me back. Mm. I was so excited, but also can't believe we're leaving. <laughs> Today we are trying something that we have never done before, but that I think is going to be really fun. We are giving away two free nights at this tree house through a scavenger hunt with all the clues being given out on Instagram. If you are in the Denver area, stay tuned. We were inspired to give away a stay at this treehouse because the whole reason we get to do cool stuff and stay at places like this treehouse is because of you. So we thought it would be kind of cool to reverse roles a little bit and give one of you the opportunity to do something awesome because of us. The real win of today is that we made it down the mountain without wrecking Peter's very nice car. <laughs> We just drove about 30 minutes to this random coffee shop right outside of Denver. And I just posted on my Instagram story for people in the Denver area to get ready. The first person who shows up is gonna win the two free nights. I am so excited. Hey, how's it going? We would like some coffee and we also have very weird questions. I'm not nervous. No, 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 no. it's you exciting. Have, so we have a YouTube channel. Okay. Thank you for being open to this idea. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. It'll be fun. Clue number one, we are at a local coffee shop within 40 miles of downtown Denver. This person looks like she's here with a mission. She just checked her phone. It's not her. This coffee shop has 4.8 stars and 232 reviews. Somebody just said, hello coffee, we are 30 minutes away, wait for us. Somebody knows where we are. I really thought this was gonna be a lot harder. Now it's just down to who gets here first. We also have huge coffees. That's actually as big as my head. Mm. 
Yeah. What's up? <laughs> really? Yeah. Are you the winner? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so fast. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. This is so exciting. Oh my goodness. When did you see the Instagram? I don't follow you guys on Instagram, so I don't know if I count. Disqualified. I no, you don't. Oh, yeah. You count, you count. No, we saw you guys and I was like, oh my gosh, I, I watched these folks. Well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I feel kind of bad about the people who are coming in after that didn't win, but we gave the barista $100, and so we're just buying the people coffee who show up now. Whoa, baby. I'm pretty sure we just did our first ever meetup. There had to have been at least 50 to 100 people who showed up at that tiny coffee shop. We completely overwhelmed the sweet owner who was working the cash register and making all the coffee all by herself. Today was also her birthday, so thank you to the sweet owner of Hello Coffee for being patient with us and for making coffee for all of our new friends. Thank you to everyone who came out. We so enjoyed meeting y'all and talking to everyone. I wish we had a hundred tree houses to give away, but hopefully you enjoyed your coffee. Also, thank you to Trisha and Randy who couldn't make it but called the coffee shop and ordered these pastries for us. Thank you to Peter and Delinda who enabled us to do this giveaway in the first place. If you want to stay in the Zen Tree House, we'll leave all the links in the description below. And last but not least, congratulations to Chim and Cindy for winning the two nights stay. They told us they were in town because they were changing Cindy's last name because they just got married. So hopefully this is a fun, delayed honeymoon celebration for them. I just thought I was done with my ski clothes. <laughs> Whose idea was this? It's 12 degrees. Uh, Ice skates are harder to get on than hockey boots. Hockey yeah. boots? I mean, yeah. ski boots. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I'm already warm from uh, shutting my ice skates on. Whoa. <laughs> This is so much more slippery than the ice skating rink we went to the other day. I feel like I'm gonna fall backwards. Don't do that. The town of Evergreen that's about 30 minutes away from the treehouse has the largest outdoor Zamboni maintained. Slipperiest. I know that's a lot of qualifiers. Outdoor skating rink in all of North America. It's not a skating rink though. It's a lake. And it may seem a little forced or a little random that we brought ourselves back out into the cold away from the treehouse, but there is a purpose. I may or may not have signed this up. As we're out here on ice skates, this feels even more ridiculous to say. For an ice skating ultra marathon in Finland. So we're here to train. <laughs> Watch out everybody. Look at this giant crack. This is terrifying. All right, can I show you your best skate? So yeah, we thought we would come out here, get some training in and figure out how much trouble we're in. The goal is to track this on Kara's watch and see how long it takes us to actually like ice skate a mile or two. In the middle of this big lake. All right, ready? Yeah. Set, go. <laughs> wow, she's flying. I honestly thought it would be easier than this. This is really hard. <laughs> I think it's these skates. Yeah. Gates. We still got a little time to practice. <laughs> yeah, it's the snow. I feel like I'm gonna injure myself. Yeah. This hurts. I feel like we're getting fast. These are the dangerous cracks we were talking about. Look at that. How do you stop on ice skates? <laughs> okay, 12 minutes to do one mile. It turns out I run faster than I ice skate. Oh, you know, the ice marathon was not that expensive. And we haven't booked our plane tickets to Finland yet. <laughs> Look at your hair. Wow, second time in a month. I'm glad we did that. We have some stuff to think about. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, Nate. I'm telling you, something was wrong with my ice skates. <laughs> that and my toes. I thought you were just making excuses. That hurts so bad right there. Nice. This is so pretty. 
negative nine degree weather won't stop us from enjoying a fire. <laughs> Cheers. We, um, we don't have any sticks, so we're going to attempt to make s'mores by roasting marshmallows on forks. The flame is a little unpredictable. A tornado! This went way better when we did it over the stove last night. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, that was a nice little memorable moment, but it's freezing and we're going inside. YouTube ice skating tips. Don't run, skate. <laughs> I genuinely think these ice skates are broken. Someone that knows something about ice skating, tell me if they're supposed to be pointing this far out. Oh, that hurts. 